And Michael Wynn joins us today to preview the Friends of the Rapids Parish Library's annual book sale. Michael, thanks for joining us today. Always a pleasure in this hot Monday morning. Of course, very hot. <laughs> very very hot. hot. Yes, but uh, this book sale is something that happens every year, and people look forward to this because there's also another component with it, too. Absolutely. And what people don't understand is that um, the, the parish cannot pay for all the additional programs. And this book sale raises funds for speakers, for the children's activities during the summer, and so many important library activities. There's so much to do at the Rapids Parish Library System at each of the branches. It's just amazing from painting to crafts and all this. And this book sale is one of the primary focuses on raising funds to pay for all these extra programs and oh, I'm just really excited about the book sale. I, I've looked at the books and wow what a selection of books. There is literally every something for everybody and stuff that you don't even know exists. Thousands of books and I and even if you come let's say Thursday on the book sale, it's a three-day book sale uh, August 3rd through 5th Thursday through Saturday but even if you come on Thursday come on back on Friday and Saturday because we kinda we can't you have so many books we can't put them all out at the same time so each day you come there's different books to see that you didn't see on Thursday or Friday and of course we've set the times for everybody the work people who work during the day people who work uh, uh, later or don't work at all and on Saturday course there's uh, everybody can come right right and it's a good bargain too isn't it uh, you get a bag and it's a certain amount to just fill up the bag as much as you want we got a great system on Thursday and Friday you get a beautiful Rapids Parish Library bag a, a high quality bag and you can fill it up we see some amazing things on how people are filling up the bag the, the, <laughs> the books are extending out of the bag three feet almost right right I, I didn't know you could put a whole house of books into one little bag <laughs> but there's gotta be a strategy to. there yes so for ten dollars you get the bag and everything you can jam pack into it and on Friday in case you don't want to buy a bag of books you just want one book we're going to do it by the inch, which was the old style. Uh, just a, sh a little bit of money, a quarter or something per inch. And still, you can get as many books as you want uh, for the equivalent fee. Wow, you really cannot beat that. Not and at then all. you'll be there as well doing some antique appraisals, right? All three days, uh, we'll, I'll be appraising antiques. And anything you can drag into the library, I don't do jewelry because you need specialized equipment, but anything you drag in the library, I will do our antique appraisals. Now, it's not just about price, but it's also about learning more about the object and how to care for the object. And I brought one object in particular. Back in the early 30s, before the Hindenburg Zeppelin crashed and burned in 1937, this right here, and this is a night early 1930s star was very very popular all the boys and girls wanted to have their own zeppelin toy and there's a way of hanging it from a string and then you can wind it up i think the home audience will love it wow wind it still it works it works it still works if you wind it up just enough oh wow so somebody brought this in for an appraisal well these are very <laughs> makes a lot of noise too uh, these are very very uh, popular and desirable. These right here can run somewhere between five hundred and fifteen hundred dollars, depending upon how it's decorated. Wow. And everything. So there's a lot of treasures in people's homes, in their gr in their garages, or in their attics. Maybe it's time for them to pull them out, and just for a very nominal fee, we w we can appraise it, tell you the value, tell you how to care for it. And you can come and watch the appraisals, just like on Antiques Roadshow and <laughs> on public television. And come out and have some fun Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The appraisals are, are Saturday morning, excuse me, Thursday and Friday till 1 p.m. and all day on Saturday, as well as the book sale. So we're going to have a grand time, and we hope to see everybody. Absolutely. So the appraisal, I know you said anything that you can carry into the library. Pretty much stamps, coins, autographs, books. What about, yeah, I was about photographs, to ask about books. Uh, Some every, people have antique books. License plates, match covers, <laughs> uh, uh, paper money, uh, really? coin money. Anything you can bring in, and if we can't appraise uh, it, 
then you're not going to be charged. Okay. Can you tell me quickly about a uh, item that was brought in for an appraisal that kind of surprised everyone who was there? This young man brought in a, a several years ago this book that he had inherited from, oh, excuse me, let me tell you about the other lady. This lady brought in, this elderly lady brought in these two books full of autographs from the Civil War. And I looked at it and I almost fell out of my chair. <laughs> Uh, I estimated a quarter million dollars for the autographs. Wow. Since then, they sold at auction, I think, for up to $200,000 in New Orleans. Wow. And she just had it sitting on her shelf. She had no idea, and she was about to just get rid of it at a garage sale. Wow, wow. That and that's crazy. here in Alexandria. The treasures that are in people's homes and attics and garages. Bring them, and we'll tell you all about them. How fun. Well, Michael Wynn, thanks for joining us today, telling us about the book sale and the antique appraisal. Sounds like a great weekend. We appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Of course. And we'll be right back. More Good Day Sin Law right after this break.